Hi everybody, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for joining us tonight on TCM where we're celebrating the career of George Sanders. Sanders often played highly intelligent, often despicable sophisticates with a disdain for all who seemed beneath him and that was essentially everyone. But he sometimes played the hero, albeit a flawed one. That's the case in the movie we have coming up next. It's the first in a series of films about a debonair detective who wins over ladies' hearts as smoothly as he captures thieves and killers. The film was so successful it led to 15 more movies in the series. From RKO in 1941, it's The Gay Falcon, based on a single short story by Michael Arlen. George Sanders is perfect as the Falcon, an amateur sleuth helped and hindered by a loyal sidekick, a jealous fiancé, and antagonistic cops. In this first entry in the series, the Falcon is pursuing a ring of jewel thieves at the behest of a beautiful young woman played by Wendy Berry. If you watch other movies in the Falcon franchise, you'll see this pattern repeated. The Falcon gets many of his cases from beautiful damsels in seeming distress. Both Sanders and Barry were veterans of another successful detective series, The Saint, a hero who closely resembled the Falcon. Sanders starred as The Saint in five films from 1939 to 41, and Barry co-starred with him in two of those films, plus a third of her own. The Saint and The Falcon were so similar that The Saint's creator, Leslie Charteris, sued RKO for unfair competition from 1942 with Gladys Cooper and Edward Brophy, who appears as a cop but would play the Falcon's sidekick later in Falcon films. Here's the gay Falcon. 